Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. First thing I wanna work on this week is finishing up these two little wooden beaded pieces that I'm gonna mount on stained glass, like the animals that I made last week. And here are the beads that I was using to make some of the other pieces. So I wanna get all this cleaned up so that I can start on my next project. And I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. Instead of putting beads on the body, I am going to build it up with epoxy sculpt, let that harden. So these two parts are already hard, but I have to finish the body. And then I'm gonna paint it with this iridized paint. It's a purpley blue, and or red blue, I guess. And it actually says dragonfly wing, but I'm gonna put it on the body and see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be awesome. In a couple hours and so I am going to paint the body of this. Let's paint and see how it works.
and they're not finished yet because I haven't sprayed them and mounted all of them. And I had talked about mounting them on here, dead center, sort of like specimens, but I don't think I will do that. I think I'll end up tipping that one and tipping this one. I do think that the using different sizes and shapes of beads looks pretty awesome. Getting ready to start a new mosaic and I have already selected my substrate, which is a 12 by 16 in a horizontal format. And what I wanna do is a winter scene. So I'm just gonna do some thumbnail sketches and sort of see what pans out here. these three options. I think this one has too many trees. This one's all right, but I think I'm going to go with this one. It's uh, more simple, but I'm going to go for it. I'm about to get started. I just want to show the substrate I'm starting with. This is the label that was on the package. What I really like about it is this rough texture that has some tooth to it on the front and the fact that it's already white and gessoed, so it's ready to go. Don't need to prime it or anything. This winter scene, this winter landscape I'm making is going to be an eggshell mosaic. And so I've got some eggshells here and I just wanna show you how I prepare these. Of course I've taken the main part of the egg out, but now I need to get this membrane out. Separates, you just have to be kind of careful. Sure you get it all out. That's it. That didn't take very long for these eggshells to dry. I had set up my painting as a reference. I had the same palette, so using the same palette, I'm going to begin painting the eggshells. hydrangeas but it's really going to be for this painting. I didn't get any of the dark ones yet but uh, this is just the beginning. It's finally a nice enough day out. It had to be at least 50 degrees for me to seal my beaded projects and I had to order some more of this triple thick glaze because I was out and it finally came in so I've got everything set up. I'm going to be spraying these five pretty heavily uh, so I put them pretty close together and then this one, I did tape off the owl and I might go a little bit lighter on this one because I don't want it to seep underneath the tape or anything. Look at 
Now, when making a, an eggshell mosaic, it is my school of thought that the pieces I put down should be slightly contrasting to the background so that you see it and you can tell that it's a mosaic. So I'm sure there's other methods and ideas behind how you should make a mosaic. Um, another thing to note is that I have to work on a flat surface because I will be using a diluted weld bond mixture, 50% weld bond, 50% water, and it's quite runny, so a flat surface helps contain that a little bit more. And then you can use toothpicks, but I'm gonna try using these tweezers to manipulate the pieces. And I have some nail clippers to cut the pieces. And that's it. part of this project will be to secure each piece of stained glass inside of its frame and because the glass is slightly translucent I will be using a clear Loctite power grab to secure it in place. <music> this to mount these animals but it was really hard to squeeze out so and kind of messy with this big wide tip on there and to kind of smear it around which was fine for these but I don't want to do that for these animals so I'm going to use silicone. Together. I love this little set. You know, I think I'm gonna make some more butterflies in different colors and dragonflies. They're kind of more fun because you can sort of play with the colors a little bit more. You know, I suppose I could make different colored bunnies, but anyway, just love them. start an eggshell mosaic because I wanted to bring something with me that uh, wouldn't make a mess at my in-laws house where we're staying and I'm gonna try to set up in the car here and work and so I'll show you my setup here in a second here's my view down the highway and here is what's on my lap I've got my substrate that I painted Here's where I started down at the bottom. Um, some eggshells, and then I have kept it all in a container with some adhesive, my tweezers, and my eggshells. I, I brought a big container so that the eggshells wouldn't get crushed on the way down there. And I'm gonna get after it here. <laughs> to be 
be working on a mosaic project in the car while traveling, but then trying to record it on my phone is just a little bit too much. I think it's going to be way too shaky. I put a little bit of footage in there, but I'm just going to try to work without recording because that's just too much to do. And uh, that's it. I'm going to set up when I get to Florida and I'll show you some more there. on this just a little bit in the car and got just a little bit done and I realized that I needed some more colors. I need some darker darks to go in here and I want to make this more of a pink right here so there's more contrast and just need to paint some more shells and so we had eggs for breakfast and I will be painting these. Unfortunately some of them are stamped with this Eggsland Best stamp but I'll just work around that and uh, make some, paint some more shelves, get some more colors to work with, and uh, give that a chance to dry. glue dries clear you get a better idea of what the eggshell mosaic will look like with the paint behind it that's putting it together thanks for watching see you next time